episode 168 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where I have been playing the new spanking HD remix of God of War 1 and 2, and it is freaking awesome. Dude, totally. Like, what's your favorite part? Is it like seeing the Colossus of Rhodes tearing the city down in 720p? Dude, you know me better than that. Come on. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a super fancy gore system they introduced with demons pulling off... The Hell no, bitch! I got three words for you. High definition boobies. Uh, All right. <laughs> you really do ride the gaming short bus, don't you? <laughs> boobies. I'm Tobin Boobzire. <laughs> and I'm Yuzo Watanabe Boob. <laughs> and this week we are talking about Left 4 Dead 2, the God of War collection, and Assassin's Creed 2 on the DS. Mm. Mm. Uh, our new releases include Rogue Warrior, which is a curse a thon apparently, uh, Might and Magic Clash of Heroes, oh, and yeah. Avatar, the game! The movie! The game! The movie! Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> so let's get started with Left 4 Dead Dose. Yeah, it's in the big easy, man. That's right. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they actually said it in, in, in like after Katrina, before Katrina, or if Katrina never happened in that Left 4 Dead universe. You know uh, I mean? Yeah, that's, um, that's true. It's, there's just zombies everywhere. There's a lot of destruction, so you can't really actually tell. I guess that would be a little bit callous if they had just done it in like post, you know, like, <laughs> like, like FEMA trailers yeah. and zombies <laughs> going around. That would be awful. That like, would suck, that, actually. I can't tell if that's just like a starving homeless dude <laughs> or a zombie. It's just, oh, God. You never know. You yeah. never know. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's interesting because, you know, they, they took the. There's a lot of, you know, controversy with this yeah. particular thing, right? Like, Left 4 Dead came out, Left 4 Dead 1 came out last year. Everybody's like, Left 4 Dead 2, what? We we're still playing this one game. And, like, Valve, I thought you actually released free DLC on top of games. Yes. Um, Was there ever any DLC for uh, Left 4 Dead? I think they personally? finally came out with uh, something, like, a month or two ago. Okay. So they finally did, but nobody knew about it, and they had yeah, it. So, yeah, yeah, So, regardless, I mean, that's the kind of the mode they've been going, so people were like, what? What's going on? So, yeah. this, is, uh, this is a new game that is set, uh, I think, a week or two after okay. the first game. So, um, you know, people help. If you're big on the Left 4 Dead yeah. plot. The, uh, <laughs> if you're really trying to follow the story. The canon line, is very it's... important, right? Yes, I mean, obviously. zombies, you got to kill them. Right. Uh, and this and make is... your way from point A to point B. To the safe room. And then there's another point A to start from, at which yes. point you must progress to point B. Now, I don't know if you guys are following along. You do that five, four times. It gets Go get a pen and paper. <laughs> I want you to follow this plot for and, Left 4 Dead. And the fifth time, yeah. you go to the point point B, and then you have to wait to be rescued. And you got to kill a bunch of people. Big Brute comes. Shit just got real. Yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. And the yeah. thing is, this game is much harder than the first oh, one. Oh, really? I, I've noticed. So in full disclosure, so I've been uh, hammered this week with work. I did play I did play yes. Assassin's Creed and God of War. I didn't get a chance to play Left 4 Dead. So this is the uh, the Yuzo show. Thing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so Left 4 Dead 2. So um, it's a couple of things. Like I didn't get to play as much as I wanted to because I didn't get to play online, which really so, sucks. So what did you mean by harder? Um, like is it re- like just the, the well? Zombies? There's more zombies. There's more guys they coming seem around. Smarter too. Like? They, they seem smarter. There's a lot more issues. Again, like I played by myself. It, it's not the true experience because you're supposed uh, to play with three other people. Yeah, yeah. But I brought it. I brought my 360. Like I had no internet at home. Yes. Uh, at my mom's place, and uh, you know I brought it with me, plugged it in, played with three computer players, and like this has been a weird. Good week for us. This is Thanksgiving. Like my mom was in town for four days. You know, you went down to LA for Thanksgiving. Yep. So I mean, like, you know, we've been we've been kind of hammered with that kind of stuff. But in true nerdy fashion, I mean, dragging your 360 <laughs> down to LA I had to do it, dude. To play like that's what we do for you guys. Um, I'm, yeah, you know, like, like I'm hanging out with my family and I'm up at night like playing God of War. Yeah, my wife's like, like, are you what? Like, keep me company. I'm yeah. like. You want to play? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You, you either got to play with me or go read a book. Or something. Uh, We're so yeah. professional podcasters. We have an unpaid weekly show that must get done. It's gotcha. <laughs> Gotsta. <laughs> and Left 4 Dead too. you know, I try, it's, it's the thing, that's what sucks, it's not a true experience, because you be, the whole thing about it is you're playing with three of your buddies, yeah. you're going to do everything, or you're playing online and other people are playing with zombies, yeah. so it's kind of hard to say this is a really, you know, good, you know, like basically thorough review, but yeah. when I play it, I like, okay. you know what I mean, it's just like, you're playing with other, yeah, the AI seems a little smarter this time, there's some cool zombies, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's the jockey, so the jockey will go and then basically go on you, and then direct you. 
Oh, that's funny. So when you're playing uh, online, you can basically play that. Get them if they're all like huddled in a corner. Yeah. You can get on them. You can drag them out. And they'll have to chase after. Oh, uh, so can you fire on your buddies, or is it just more that you f- get them away from the pack? Oh, uh, you get them away from the pack, okay. and then if you get them out there, you can either kill them or then ha- draw them out. Right. Yeah, that's one yeah. of the one of the ideas behind it. There's chargers, which is kind of like the big brute. Um, you know, the big Hulk, hulking brute that they yeah, had before. Yeah, yeah. But it's just kind of like a smaller version of it. Okay. I think the witch can move, but I never saw it move. Mm. Um, this is what I heard. I read again, like not not as much, but you know, it looks really good. It plays well. The melee weapons are really awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, what we played, what we played before at a uh, uh, TGS and uh, PAX, I guess. Um, just like it. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's the the bat feels really nice. I uh, like the sword a lot. Dude, the ninja, the the katana. And, yeah. Is the katana really is, that's a nice feel. I mean, like it's you versus a horde of zombies, and you're just you know just in there just totally crazy. messing shit. And up. we didn't get to play with a chainsaw. And in the not. game, chainsaw is like, and just yeah. like, zzz, 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 zzz. and it's just like what they did with all of the different uh, zombies when you kill them. Yeah, like they added a lot more animation. Oh, okay, cool. So again, it looks really good, but you know, I have some complaints. Mm. Um, some complaints meaning that uh, it's still one year after, mm. and there really isn't that much new stuff. Right. I mean, seriously, like, like, okay, fine. They added a couple of zombies. They added four new maps. Right. But you're still going from point A to point B. You're killing a bunch of zombies. Yeah. With the same weapons, shotguns, machine guns. Yeah, I, I, I'm like sixty bucks. Is it worth sixty bucks for that? And it I'm seems like, a bit steep for that. I mean, I know uh, that, that that Valve has been like defending it up and down, but I mean, when it comes down to it, it really does almost seem like a map and weapons pack. Yeah, you know? and it's like, is that that's worth half the price? Maybe forty to me. Like, yeah. to, if, if uh, this is yeah. the thing, right? I can't, yeah. I have Left 4 Dead One. I can still keep playing and still have a lot of fun. Exactly, and I can have the same fun in a different locale with a few more weapons. Right. So I pay, so here's 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 my recommendation, right? It's like you look at two different people: people that own Left 4 Dead One. Yeah. Don't buy it at sixty bucks. Okay. You, do, don't because it's just not worth it. Yeah. Um. You and the thing is, everybody's playing Modern Warfare right now. Everybody's playing Assassin's Creed. So like, this is a good January, February game when it's forty bucks. Yeah. Or on sale. That's true. Um. If you've never played Left 4 Dead One, this is well obviously the version to get. So I mean, that's the kind of thing. That's, that's true. That's the kind of guidance that I can give. But it's just like I'm. <sighs> yeah. And the funny thing is, if you're a big fan of like the kind of survival of zombie shit, you've probably already gotten the first one. At which point, this seems a little bit like a cash in to you. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But it's still really good. It's still yeah. really well done. Not worth sixty dollars. Valve, please make it forty. Uh, and they've actually uh, you know cut the price at a lot of places. Okay. So if you go to Best Buy, if you go to a bunch of areas right now, they've actually cut the prices of, during Cyber Monday. Mm. So you can get it for forty bucks in a lot of cases. Okay. So you know, for forty, it's totally worth it. I'd yeah. say. All no right. Worries. Yeah, I mean, like I. I, I I didn't pick it up because I had these other things that I wanted to play, and also just because I enjoyed Left 4 Dead. Yeah. But I wasn't like chomping at the bit for Left 4 Dead 2 because I still feel like I could play Left 4 Dead 1 whenever I want to get the zombie on zombie action. Yes. And when I when I come down to four person co op, mm-hmm. like I know that it's it's a lot more immediate, it's a lot more first person, it's a lot more visceral mm-hmm. with Left 4 Dead. But I enjoyed Borderlands. Ah, uh, so if you want your four player co op or. Action. That's the game that I, you're going to play. I like Borderlands because I mean, I like the the you know grabbing the grabbing the the vehicles and running yep. all over and the sniper the rifles, loot. the rocket launchers, and the dragons. And, oh. So I mean, I, I think Borderlands to me was better than Left 4 Dead. <laughs> dude, the more you're talking about, it, I'm like, I, I kind of want to stop playing Left 4 Dead. <laughs> it's like, dude, you want to play Borderlands? Still, I was going to say because we still like the, for next week. You and I are going to try and maybe next week or the week after. I mean, like, I think we're, probably the week after. Yeah, we're a little jammed up, but we're going to try and do uh, the Borderlands DLC because we're yeah, excited about that. So it's, the thing is, like, we can actually go kill zombies, no problem, in Borderlands instead. There you go. And that's what I feel. It's just like, I'm mean, looking at all the new two army right now, even, like, not for the other thing that kind of bugged me about it. Like, I, I got home, and I'm like, I want to play some Left 4 Dead. I'm looking, yeah. nobody's playing it. Everybody's uh, still playing Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Everybody's still playing Modern Warfare. Yep. So I'm like, it's my like, brother hasn't gotten it yet. So I'm like, so what do you, I do? You're, you're right. This really is one of those things where it's like January when there's no games to come out. We'll be like, all right, guys, it's time for a noob tube Left, Left 4 Dead, Dead. tube thon where you can go get it for 20 bucks. You know, like, and it'll be awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so that's the general thing. Maybe they'll even have some more map packs. Maybe they'll add yeah. some other stuff. Maybe they'll actually do the DLC like they were going to do yeah. with Left 4 Dead 1 with this game. Maybe, unless so. they do Left 4 Dead 3 in a year. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> now, where, come on, Portal 2, come yeah. on, Half-Life Episode 3, like, we need all those games first. Please give us Half-Life! <laughs> Portal 2 would be pretty sweet, too, but I mean, like, it sounds to me like Half-Life 2 Episode 3 is Portal 2. You know, because huh? they had all the, well, because... Yeah, but the, there's actually, the, but there's a title, Portal 2, that will be released. For sure? For sure, yeah, it's actually been announced. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. So, well, because uh, I mean, they were talking about the, the, the Portal gun... Oh, and 3. In, yeah. 
Because oh. remember, uh, oh. spoiler alert. But Holy the, shit! But Half Life Two <laughs> Episode Two came out like seven thousand years ago. So fuck yeah. you guys. But so, but you see boxes that have the portal gun in Episode oh. Two, letting you know that it's definitely going to be in Episode Three. Really? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Well, I mean, I think it should because I think it's a really good game element. And if they make Episode Three, Episode Two wasn't that long, was it? It's six hours. It's six hours. Six so I hope, considering how long it's been, they actually make this more of a 15, 20 hour game. Yeah. Seriously, dude. Yeah. Like Half Life Two was like a twenty to like it was a long ass game. It was long, and, and um, it's still playable. Like you can oh, seriously yeah. just go back and play through Half Life Two, and it's still good. And with the Source Engine, right? It's actually on the Source Engine, so it yes. looks really good. It looks fantastic. Um, and Counter Strike looks good. Like, oh, dude, Valve just they know how, they know how to make games. Yeah. So, um, Left for Dead. Come on, dude. Don't, don't Come cash on. in. Come on! I know that it makes you so much money that you get blind to everything else. Like, Left 4 Dead sold really it well. Did. I know. It sold really well. So all you well. people, all you pe- dude, did you, oh, did you see the, um, the people that were saying, like, Left 4 Dead boycott? So yeah. there's an actual Steam group. Oh, right? On Steam? <laughs> That's funny. And the most hilarious thing is that you go there, uh, people who are members of the Left 4 Dead boycott, they're yeah. all playing Left 4 Dead too. They had screenshots. It was hilarious. What a bunch of numb nuts. Um, that's, so that, that's the power of, uh, of boycott, internet boycotts, yeah. obviously. Yeah, guess what, kids? <laughs> Signing a petition is fucking stupid. <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> I hate that shit, this internet activism bullshit. All these people like, 800,000 people signed this thing that Modern Warfare 2 should have independent servers. They don't give a fuck about your <laughs> petitions. They don't care. The thing is, like all those people, they don't vote. Yeah. Seriously. You don't vote yet. You just you clicked a button on a website. That is not <laughs> activism. You are not important enough. Like, go write a letter. Yes. That's like a thousand times better than, than clicking a button on a website. Yeah, so, so generally speaking, I'm going to say it's a thumbs up rental. It's a solid game. It's good. It, definitely buy it if you have only, if you've, if never, you've never played, played one. Yeah. If you have one right now, wait. That's, yeah. that's the general thing. I'm, I'm personally saying I'll get it at 20 bucks. Twenty? Yep. Oh, well, dude, I don't even think Left 4 Dead One is twenty bucks yet. Are you serious? Oh, I don't know. I have, I've never actually tried to buy it. So twenty on Since eBay, then. maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll the see. PC version. All right, on thirty. Steam. All right, thirty. 30. That's, All right, my, that's oh. my bottom line. That's it. That's yeah, it. That's as far as I go. <laughs> Um, so next up is the God of War collection. Yeah, so this is the uh, God of War 1 and God of War 2 yes. redone in HD. Redone, yeah. Um, and man, you were talking about the boobies? Yeah. It looks pretty good. Uh, pretty good. They're, they're, they're not as point, because before they were almost like triangles. Yeah, because it, like, it was like polygon. four polygons. Yeah, it was like four polygons and a red polygon. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Now they've got like, a little uh, curve. They don't how bounce. How am I supposed to rub one out to that? <laughs> It would hurt, actually. It'd be like, it's too sharp. But, but yeah, I mean, like the the as soon as you put the disc in the machine, it's wow. just it's just this this absolute like I can't believe they made it look that good. I mean, the only time sometimes in the cutscenes, mm-hmm. the 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 models are just like ah, you look like a good PS2 model. Yeah, yeah. You know, even if the, the cutscenes are like video, it's yeah. like pretty impressive. Yeah, like how bad they were. Yeah, <laughs> considering right. But um, the gameplay. It's it, still good. It just shines like it oh. just. It looks like a game that was made recently. It's basically better than most games that have been made recently. Yeah. Seriously, like, you played God of War and like I think you played mostly God of War One, right? Yep. So I played uh, a bit of God of War One and a bit of God of War Two, mm. and God of War Two looks even better. Oh, that's awesome. So my guess is what they did was that, you know they took all of God of War, War One's models, yeah. and they're probably all low poly models, right? So they don't have that much detail, and they yeah. just like they they brushed them up a little bit, but they couldn't do that much. But I bet you the poly the, the models in the, the God of War Two are much higher because they'd saved them at higher they quality. Saved them, exactly. Yeah. So it looks it looks so much better. Oh, that's awesome. So you should actually give it a try. Oh, I mean, well, I mean my, my goal is to like I, I'm I'm uh, I'm God of War six Second? hours in to God of War One. I'm going to beat God of War One, beat God of War Two, and then play God of War Three. <sighs> really? They're not that long. They're not that big. I mean, like, no, they're, they're about twelve to fifteen. Yeah, right? they're, I think Almost. they're like yeah, more like ten. But I don't think they're that bad. But I mean, like it, it's it's. I am having such a so I mean, <laughs> it's really so good. you kept getting on my case about not beating God of War one. So I went yeah, and yeah. bought God of War one off of eBay, mm-hmm. and I put it in. I'm like ah, uh, it didn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was very fun, mm-hmm. but it was just mm-hmm. one of these things. Where I'm like ah, uh, you know, I just didn't grab me. And this one, I'm playing through, and I'm just like playing and playing and playing. I'm like this is friggin. Sweet. Like, so basically, the graphics really stop because the gameplay is pretty much identical, right? It's there's, pretty much identical. Um, yeah. There's not really that much different, but the graphics are just, oh, just God. because of how good it looks. It, it really, really? can pull me in more. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I have to give you like the thing is when I was finding the Hydra, I'm like, wow, this is so much more fun than three, you know, like 360 or PS3 games I've played many. PS3, like, this is just great. I'm like, I'm having a great time. I, know. I gotta play God of War 2. And I'm like, I'm having a great time. And I'm like, oh shit. You know, yeah. and they're like, and he, the cool, best thing about this collection, it was like, I think it was 30 or 40 bucks. It's yeah, cheap. It was, yeah, like 40. it was like 30 or 40. And then it comes with a God of War 3 demo, which we're gonna review 
next, next week, week or, or so. Um, so it's like you get the value you get. It, it's it's. I mean, it's unstoppable. Um, like three games. I mean, you know, granted, well, the God of War yeah. three demo is is thirty minutes. I mean, it's two games. Yeah. with a demo, but. I mean, these games are basically new games. Mm-hmm. At this point, especially if you've never played the God of War games, this is basically like buying a new PS3 game. Yeah, and this is like brain dead. Like, th- yeah. these these games are held in such high regard. There's so many developers out there that are copying exactly what God of War does. Yeah. Did. I mean, look at Dante's Inferno. Look at everybody. It's just like, they... I don't know what it is. It's just like, you got this huge thing of coming to a case, right? You got... Uh, great camera angles, mm-hmm. right? Where it's all it's scripted, you never like fight the camera. You never ever fight the camera. Um, and then just super smooth combat, yeah. which is really like kind of deep and not, yeah. but not as button mashy as, as it could be. No, because um, when it starts out. It's it's one of those games where it starts out and you're like, eh, this is a little button mashy because you're basically just hammering hammering mm-hmm. the two buttons. And then what happens is as you get more orbs, you unlock more powers in your yes. weapons. And you start being able to really string together these things where it's like, you know, if you jump up and hold down this button and hold down this button, mm-hmm. it becomes this, like, in-air charge. And you start being able to pop people up in the mm-hmm. air. Juggle and on. you start getting these things where you kind of, like, whip your whip your uh, blades around. And then, actually, I don't remember if this is in God of War 1 or not, but I think in God of War 2, for sure, you start getting more weapons. Yeah, I believe in God of War 1, you do. But if you've been playing Six Years and you haven't gotten one, then I haven't can... gotten one yet. I mean, maybe, like, I've gotten special is... abilities, right? I can throw yeah, lightning yeah, yeah, bolts. Yeah. Um, I you can have the magic. Do, uh, I can uh, freeze with Medusa heads. Maybe that's yeah. all you get in God of War One. I, I think that might remember. actually be. I mean, if this is six hours, because you get probably... you get a lot of different weapons in God of War Two. I remember yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, uh, you get the big gun. You get the big, uh, big sword. Yes. Two sword. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I don't think there were new weapons. I don't think there were any more than. I think there's special abilities, but no other weapons in God of War One. And it, the thing is, it's still really good. Oh, it's fucking um, awesome. I mean, like, there's enough variety in there for sure. Yeah. And it, what's really funny is like you were talking about the cutscenes. Like, this has got to be the first game I've ever played. Where the cutscenes look worse than the gameplay. Yeah, I mean seriously. Yeah, they're they're nothing special. Um, they really aren't anything special. Like the game is much better than the cutscenes, which is funny. I know. I mean, you look at him like, oh, ooh, wow. Yeah. It's like you know, Kratos is like you know, jawline is a little blocky yeah. there. It's like it looks a little off. It, it must have just um, been that that they were able to do all kinds of stuff with the engine, but maybe those movies weren't an engine. Maybe those movies were just kind of like. Well, let's do what we can and polish up these. You well, know, they these could. I mean, scenes. all those things were probably rendered yeah. separately on another farm. Like they, they're not going to re-render them. They can't. They're just the, not. All that, all that stuff gone. Um, they probably just like anti-alias the shit out of it. And like, can we blur it a little bit and make it look a better? Vaseline somewhere. Sixty so frames kinda... a second. That's fine. So, but, um, I would say that um, a, a, there's a couple mechanics that I feel have aged not well. Really. Like um, what? So, for example, I, I actually don't remember if they. I think I think that this is a complaint that I had about God of War two, and I know for a fact that they fixed this in God of War three, mm-hmm. but the mechanic of hammering on shoulder buttons, to yeah, open stuff is they, bullshit. So they fix it in two, which is oh, hilarious. Well, okay, which is in the in the actual collection where now you basically you hit the right trigger and you then you it. hammer B. Hammer B. That's uh, not fixed. Well, no, it's fixed it's in terms better. of it's better. It's better that dude. Like that's. The, I mean, I have to agree. Like with with God of War one when you're playing the thing. Yeah. When you're when you're hammering R two, it's it's depressing, right? You yeah. have to actually not depress. It's not sad. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> but you have to depress it a lot. And you can't. You it's can't depressing. do depressing. You're just pushing the button and weeping <sighs> openly. Oh, God. Yeah. Why but you're right. Do I mean, it's, it's a it big sucks. deal, and it's and it's like and and it, there's this weird timing thing where if you hit it super fast, it doesn't actually work as well. Like yep. you have to get like the right rhythm. And the thing is, is there is no talent to this. <laughs> like there, there, there are game mechanics that I appreciate where there's timing and yeah. there's and there's accuracy. And if you're not going to do that, then opening a door should be hold down the button. Well, I mean, there is nothing. There's no benefit to hammering repeatedly on. Something. There's no benefit, but I can understand where it's one of those. Like with God of War, what it seemed to me like when you lifting those heavy things, it's like you have to hammer the button because it's really heavy. Mm. So there's that extra the extra bit of effort that yeah. you have to exert. But for a lot of things, like with the chest, you just hold down and it opens, right? Yeah. It's cool. I understand the explanation. I still think the mechanic is bullshit. <laughs> like, it's more immersive, dude. It's not no. fun. Okay, fine. And when it comes down to it, like that is totally not fun for me. Like I just mm. like I'll come up to the door and like like inside I'm just a little bit like <sighs> you know, just like <laughs> Because sometimes you get to these things where you're running through a building, there's like seven doors in a row, you know? So you just like yep. run up your door like, all right. <laughs> you know, you're just like fucking hammering on it. And you're like, God. Well, so, it's, it's a little better in God of War 2. They yeah. do make you hammer the B, which is a lot easier to do. Yep. Um, and I don't remember that many doors, but I haven't, again, I haven't played as, as deep. Um, um, so so, the, so there was that. Uh, there was one other thing that I remember. Oh, I didn't like uh, – like the – it it really made me realize how much better uh, the platforming stuff in like Uncharted had gotten oh, when they're no. making you walk over these you tiny like little yeah, and it's just like you know you walk one step over and he falls off 
and he gets back up and he walks one server. And then, like, finally you get it where you're just creeping and he can walk along and you're like, man, this is so much more fun than, like, Uncharted when you just hold down run and he just runs. Yeah. Because balancing on a board is not a fun game mechanic. So there's a lot of things where the gameplay is awesome Mm -hmm. and there's little things where you're like, I bet you anything in God of War three there's no tightrope walking. I bet you anything well, in God of War three there's no hammering to open doors. Like I think. Uh, that- no, I bet you they'll keep that. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. But um, the one one thing that I didn't like too much about it was uh, the saves yeah. were still really slow mm. for some reason. I mean, like before, like that was one of the things when I remember replaying, like playing God of War two, and yeah. this is after, you know, like this is after a while. Like I'm playing, and I'm like, wow, it's like I have to hit a button, wait a few seconds, hit something, hit mm. save, yeah, and all slow. this, and it's just like it's seriously a long time considering how much data that probably has to be saved. Yeah, right? that's true, that's true. Um, but anyway, I mean, I mean, like these are all relatively <sighs> minor complaints. I mean, like yeah. you'll be, you know, like annoyed a little bit by some of them, but overall, these games are just phenomenal, just unbelievably good. And there's there's these moments where you'll just come out and see, you know. You come up over a vista and Ares mm. striking down a city or, you know, just hordes of people are running around. Or like these, a, another bigger, bigger new monster walks out from behind a wall and you're just like, fuck me running. Yes. You know, like I am so <laughs> screwed. That guy's got seven, you know, sledgehammers and a, you know, dildo chin. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do I don't do remember me. finding that monster, but yeah, no, it's very scary. Um, you know, the other thing also awesome about this, do they have trophies? Yes, they so, added all the trophies. That's cool. I mean, that's the thing we we're all talking about. Like, what about like playing all these old games, but yeah. add achievements, add trophies, and it's mm-hmm. like they finally did it with this one. So maybe they'll do it more with other games. I really hope. I do um, like that. I still do like that where ones. it's just like you do something. It's like, bing, dude. You would... screw, You know, like you fucked up two hundred dudes with your lightning bolt. Yeah. Or you you bet it. You've betted like fifty women. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well uh, done. Would you uh, would you get would you would you go through the ratchets again if they redid them and added trophies? I don't know because the thing is like I'm still three. not sold on the trophy mechanism because the thing is, yeah, is like no, that's achievements true. I can do all these things on the websites where I go and look at other people's achievements Compare. against mine yeah. and then I just I haven't gone to like the Sony site and like plugged in people's names and like g- going through the menu system mm-hmm. it's not as easy to just pull people up and yep. compare their trophies it takes a too. while like yeah. you hit a button and it's just like wait Wait, comparing trophies. Wait, sometimes yeah, it's, even it's just not in. as easy to dig in. You know, like, yeah. I, I, I like being able to do kind of head-to-head comparisons, mm-hmm. and I like being able to just have it more visible to me when, when mm. you know, like how people. So, I mean, if my trophies were more visible to the world, if people had given more of a fuck about home, yeah, then I, could, you know, like if I had a room with all my ratchet trophies that people would like, if I could put them on display in like the noob tube room, or, like that would be a big, that would be a huge yeah. seller. Like so, you'd I mean, actually do it. If people could see my trophies and give a shit about them, <laughs> then yes, I would go back and play. But as they are right now, they're yeah. kind of for me. The trophies are kind of for and me. And you don't really care. Like I care enough that it's fun to get them in God of War, but I'm yeah. not going to replay. You're not going to get games. like the platinum and yeah. any of this stuff. Uh, but what about like just the sheer graphics if they actually took it and they did the God of War treatment in HD? I would totally all, play that again. Like, yeah. Because yeah. like, seriously. If they made like the old ratchets look like – or if they made like – if they took the old Spyro the Dragons Ooh, and like made yeah. those HD. I mean there's some games that could really do for a, a shine up. Yeah. And, and the thing is like the gameplay is so solid with those. It's really only the graphics that are a yep. little off. So it's just like – just look. Get all the first three ratchets. Put them for 40-ish, 30-ish, yep. 40-ish bucks. Yeah. Yep. That's just printing money, dude. It is. I mean, you go back and you get like the Sly Coopers, the Spyro oh, the Dragons. Oh, the Sly Coopers would be the, awesome. You know, the, the, I mean, like, yeah. there's any number of these collections that they could just print money, like you said. It's just like 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. And yeah. my shelf would just be like Spyro <laughs> collection, you know, whatever, fucking Sly Cooper collection, yeah. and, like all these other ones. We did it with Benjo because Jack and too. Dexter collection. Jack and Dexter would be really awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much everything. So you should, like, somebody, Insomniac, go, go do it. LucasArts collection. <laughs> yeah. That ain't going to happen. No. Dude, I look too. Full Thrall's not even. Uh, out, motherfuckers! Sell us these games. Full Throttle's so good, dude. But they have a LucasArts collection on Steam. I was looking through, and I'm like, yeah. I was looking at like LucasArts collection. I'm like, what? Maybe we were wrong. So then I looked, and it's like Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Star Wars Tie Fighter, blah 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 blah. God damn it! It's like really? Yeah, they did the dig. They did the. Dig. They did do the dig. I mean, Dig's part of it. The dig is awesome. Like, do the other ones, please. Awesome. Very well worth the money. Yeah, totally get it. Got a work collection. Totally get, it get it today. So next up is <laughs> Assassin's Creed 2 Discovery. It's on the DS, right? It is on the DS. Because um, I, I want to play Bloodlines. Okay. Um, so it's on PSP. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's uh, it's interesting. We'll see. Well, it, that's the funny thing about Assassin's 2 uh, Bloodlines. <laughs> Sorry, Assassin's Creed 2 Bloodlines is that uh, we've had several people on YouTube that are like, you guys got to review this, but I haven't seen anybody say you guys have to review this it's good. <laughs> <laughs> they're just saying, like, please review it. I guess they're saying, like, let me know if it's good so we can decide if we're going to get sure, it. Sure, sure, sure. But nobody's 
I don't think anybody bought it yet. Like, it doesn't seem like anybody got it. So uh, we may have to be the, the canary in the coal mine for you guys. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll just buy one copy and we'll just trade it back. Trade and it back. Forth. Yeah, I think so that's what that, we'll have to do. Seems, seems but the DS1 fun. you played, um, I, did. I did not get a chance to. Okay. Um, I'll let you borrow it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So. So. It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> How could so, it be not good? I mean, I'm sure like Ubisoft spent... Millions of yeah. dollars developing. So this okay, awesome. so so it's a it's a two D side scroller. Um, okay. The whole thing is just two D side scrolling, and they're like they they what they try to do is they try to take some of the basic mechanics of of Assassin's Creed Two uh-huh. and just jam them into a you know so huh. you you can you can there's a radar on the bottom you can see which way guys are facing and if they're facing the other way you can sneak up behind them and stab them. Okay. Um, and the whole thing is like you're, you know, you you're kind of following a story where you're protecting merchants from each other and you're this assassin. It's it's like the same thing. Like, are you Ezio? A couple, yeah, you're you're Ezio. Okay. It's a couple years after Assassin's Creed Two. Oh, okay. Um, interesting. Well, he's like, okay, it's not a couple years after Assassin's Creed Two. It's a couple years in the future of Ezio. So you never have anything with the animus. Like it, oh, it, it's all just kind of like okay. you are back in Venice and you are stabbing bitches, and that's all you need. Because that's to what you do. Yeah, I mean, seriously. so there's two elements. There's like the fighting mm-hmm. and the stealth. So the whole thing is just like you know you're trying to sneak around and stab dudes, and if you don't get them in time, you start doing the, this and the fighting. The fighting is pretty weak because <laughs> I mean you know there's not that there's not that much finesse on the DS. Yeah. Know? The 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 problem really comes down to in this game. All the things that were so cool mm-hmm. in Assassin's Creed 2, they can't do, right? There's mm-hmm. no uh, there's no really extensive building climbing because it's 2D side scroll. So it's right? platforming basically. So it's, it's just yeah, it's just it's like you can run, you can hang from ledges, you can jump. But it's not like you're navigating the side of this huge building. Yeah. You're not getting it's not cool. Fist. It's not cool. Mm. So and, and the weird thing is is it's just little stuff. Like if you climb up to a ledge and there's a dude walking up here, mm-hmm. you can't stab them. You have to then climb up. And do it, and if you're maybe in a, you earn it later because you earn it later in the. That's true. So I mean, okay, I don't so know how maybe, long you maybe, played. But. I, I I did play a couple hours. I mean, okay. Maybe maybe you get that stuff, and because I was gonna say also like you can you can hop in the hay piles and you can't stab people out of those. So I mean, maybe okay. all these abilities somehow come later. I kind of doubt it. Do are there whores? Because I mean, seriously, there are no whores oh. that I saw. So the whole thing just wow. basically kind of comes down to like uh, protection missions, mm-hmm. sneaking missions, fighting missions, escape missions, Ooh. where you're just running away from dudes. <laughs> and then what they do at the end is they give you a grade. So they're like, you know, mm. there were eight dudes, you killed seven of them. You did it in this amount of time. You took this amount of damage. Yeah. It's just, it's very standard. It's, it's very just kind of like someone took a beautiful, perfect game yeah. and they're like, well, how do we jam this motherfucker in the DS? Why do they and even just, bother? I just that's what I don't shit. know. That's, that's the whole time I was playing. I'm like, why did you do this? Like, no one's going to come around and say this was awesome. No one is going to like go on GameSpy or like whatever. Like none of yeah. these game review sites, including NoobTube, are going to come out and be like, go get this right now. It's fucking sweet. I mean, is it more like duping? It's just like, look, we've sold, you know, Assassin's Creed 2 to all of these people, all these, these casual gamers who don't know any better. And they had a good experience with it. And like... They want to buy it for their kid, or they want to buy it for because DS. I mean, like PSP, I can understand, and I'm actually have much higher hopes. Yeah, for the DS true. version yeah. as a PSP version, but DS is just like it's kind of a kitty platform, and it's yeah. very simplistic. It's just like what and are it's they really thinking? good for certain things for yeah. very simple things, but when you take a wonderful complex thing and make it simple, yeah, then all that happens is you just miss the the the. The huh. complexity. You miss the goodness of the other version. You know what they should have done? They should have taken one of the other elements. Like, okay, like Ezio City Simulator. Yeah. Right? And then, like, all of a sudden, all it is is just hitting different things and then buying better art stores. Sure. And things like that. Yeah. Or maybe, like, here, I'm Ezio and I'm, like, a master assassin. I'm sending other assassins out and doing this. And it's like, or a Ezio is wandering right? a city and then whenever he meets somebody, he has to do puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> he puzzles, like, I got it! It's like, yeah. <laughs> You know, that would have been gone. awesome. That would have actually been pretty funny. <laughs> Speaking of, That's we nice. need to play. Uh, we need to play the new PopCap game, the Square Enix PopCap. Ah, oh, uh, Gyromancer. Gyromancer. Yeah, so we got a few call-ins. Uh, we somehow missed it. I don't understand. Like both of us talked about this a while back. Yeah. We're like, Square Enix and PopCap. What? My, you know, my dick is slamming against the table. Well, so mine's more just, for PopCap. Yours probably yeah. more for Square Enix. But it's yeah, true. but I mean, like, um, like you know, you've kind of sold me on PopCap. Like I've played, you know, like Plants vs Zombies. Zombies. Peggle. I mean, Peggle was yeah. all right. <laughs> You liked it more than me. It was awesome, dude. But you know, it's like um, so that kind of stuff. It's like if you're if you've got a franchise and you just want to milk the shit out of it, yep. put it in. You know, like put it in something like have it like fucking Ezio's Sudoku. Yeah, 
<laughs> I would play that. Just stick it on something that you know is already good on the DS. Yeah, I mean, seriously, like some sort of puzzle mechanic, some sort of semi simulation. Some, I mean, you could even see, argue that a platformer would make sense, but it sounds it sounds to me like they didn't do it right. No, there's they, nothing innovative about it. I mean, like yeah. when you look at it. You, if you compare it to something like, uh, uh, you know, Mario and Luigi RPG, or like yeah. and these other things, the time and effort that went into making this wonderful, well balanced world in Mario and Luigi, I mean, this other, they, they feel like such a fucking cash in. Yeah, it's like, well, here's um, a model of Ezio. Here's a sword. Yeah, uh, he, go he nuts. Can, he can block and stab and sneak. <laughs> go, you know, and it's like a bunch of college, new college grads who are just like. Okay. Well, that's actually, you know, that, that's kind of what they do. If you look at a lot of the big, uh, like Ubisoft and all them, they'll have their, you know, they'll put all their best team, they'll put 450 people on their target thing, yeah. and then basically they'll say, uh, DS, PSP, uh, PC, we. like we, Flash, all right, every, um, iPhone. Cell phone. Yeah. They basically go and pick five, you know, a bunch of these really small game companies. And it's good because, you know, they, they need money too, right? Yeah. But it's just like they're not equipped to do a game on the caliber of Mario and Luigi. They're not yeah. equipped. So it's just like, what are you going to do, dude? It's like yeah. you're not going to be able to play it. What you're going to do is just stop doing this shit. <laughs> Nobody buy this kind of stuff. Don't support them in their no. lunacy. Um, so that is that. Too. But uh, next week, we have kind of a weak lineup. Like, I know. Um, i got to say, though, two weeks, we start to see things like um, Zelda's coming out. And Three weeks, we start to see Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Yep. And so, uh, Saboteur's coming Saboteur. out. We'll see how that is. Yeah. But yeah, the, this month of December is actually kind of kind of a little leak. soft. It's a little soft. Um, um, and January is looking much better because a lot, dude, a lot of games got ended up getting pushed yes. pushed over. And March looks ridiculous. I like, know. It seems like everybody that missed 2009, they're like, I will March. We'll do yeah. March. Well, dude, you know why? You know why, right? Because March is the end of the fiscal year. So it's like when they need all of the money to make the the end of the year mm. sales, they have to release it by that point or they're fucked. Yeah, that's true. So, um, and you know what actually bugs me? It's just like, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, brink was going to be uh, spring. Mm. So they just pushed it to fall. Mm. So, Damn it. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a whole year. Yeah. Fuck, Brink looks so good. But, you know, if they need more time and they're going to make it better, then whatever. Dude, there's so just many. as long as it doesn't turn into Brink Newcomb. <laughs> no, dude, it, it better. It was so close to being. I mean, that's dude, what I'm saying. We saw it. it fucking playable at PAX. That was like three months ago already. Damn it! So fall. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, like, seriously, up to March, we have so many amazing games. Yeah. I really hope summer isn't going to be a, a, a doldrums. Hope not. That's gonna, hope not. Hope not. Hope not. It's going to suck. So this week, wow. Oh. James Cameron's Avatar the game. Come on, dude. You have to play it with me. You have to. I don't want to. Really? You know why? Why? Because I just went and saw 2012 with my wife this weekend. They had the three-minute trailer for Avatar, and I fell asleep in the fucking trailer. No way. I almost did. <laughs> Seriously, it's one of those things where it's What's like... What's so bad about it? You watch the trailer, and you're like, I know what this movie's about. I already can tell you the plot. I already can tell you the resolution. The whole thing is like this dude goes to a planet, and all the humans are raping it for resources, and all the wonderful Na- Native Americans, I mean aliens, or elves, are on right? the planet, <laughs> and they start fighting back against the humans. And it's just like, the whole thing is like, people are bad. Don't pollute. You know, love the planet. <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up. Message movies drive me crazy. But, I mean, does it look good at it least? It looks all right. I mean, yeah. whatever. Like, the guys, I, I still think it's the Uncanny Valley problem where yeah. they don't look good enough. They look mm. like really good CG, where if you and I saw this in a cutscene for a game, we're like, wow, that's beautiful. Really? When I see it on the big screen, you're like, ah, I kind you of don't expect even better. Like, I want this to... So, I, you know, so that actually, you know, says that maybe the game will be better because they'll have all the cutscenes, they'll have all the stuff. And you were telling me, dude, like... They've been spending a lot of time on this game. It's true. I mean, I'm sure the game uh, will look good. There are parts of it that will look good, but the whole point is it's just going to be this bullshit message, like, beating yeah. over the head. Like, and it looks kind of Gears of War clony, too. Yeah. So, we'll I see. I don't care about this game. <laughs> um, but you're going to play it, no! and you're going to review it next week, and no! you're going to tell us how awesome it was. I don't was, want to. <laughs> where you and, like, fucking Rain Blossom sat in a tree <laughs> as the bulldozer came, and you and fought hot. them off. With Maybe it. that'll be... Hot. That's yeah. true. You gotta shave her armpits. But uh, besides that, it's not like you know. it's like Berkeley the game. <laughs> I don't want that. I That's don't right. want that. We're gonna go to a protest <laughs> and then get laid. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, except they smell like patchouli. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, I hate the G twenty. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Whatever. Fuck that guy. So, um, um, so next up is Rogue Warrior. Yeah. So this one looks um, kind of boring. Um, it does. It looks really boring, actually. So it's a it's a first person shooter, but it's very stealthy. I was watching a lot of the the trailers for it. It reminds me a lot of Velvet Assassin, except you're a guy. Yeah, it's like Velvet Assassin and um, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, you know, kind of yeah, like, like kind of first person. Yeah, um, it looks so, kind of good though. I mean, it, for the graphics. Yeah, but. I mean, it, uh, this one I'll rent. This one I'm curious enough that I I would rent it just because. Um, for, okay, there's two reasons. One, okay. I was watching like, okay, this is interesting enough that there might be some fun in there. Because okay. I mean, you know, like some, <laughs> right. some of the videos, it looks like it yeah. could be all right. But yeah. the, the second one is I've read these reviews of it where people say. The the main character from Rogue Warrior is this nonstop stream of filth. It's just like just the whole time he's apparently killing people is like, take that you fucking asshole, <laughs> fuck you in the fuck you fucking shit bag, blah 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 blah. So you, you will know. play it just for that. I'll be giggling my ass off. All right. I mean, like maybe it's only an hour of fun, but it's still an hour of fun. Well, for rental, I mean, you can't ask for that much more. Do for you see bucks? the list that we have to work with? <laughs> yes, I do. But the thing is, like, look, actually, you know, we should ask the new people, like, if there's any games that we missed yes. in the past four months, because there's, there's a bunch of games that came out, yeah. let us know, and then we'll just start adding them to the list, because, like, the month of December has, like, two big games. It's true. It's true. Um, so we, we keep a list on our wiki of games that we're interested in playing. So, I mean, like, email us at feedback at noobtube.com. Leave comments down here below at YouTube. I mean, mm-hmm. like, anything where it's just, like, if we never reviewed it, we never talked about it, and you loved it. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a commercial game. Like, you guys have recommended some Flash games in the past, some indie oh, games yeah, in the past absolutely. that we have had a blast learning and playing. Yeah, a bunch of you guys have been saying, like, have this huge hard on for Mission Machinarium. So yes, I think I need yeah, to check yeah. that out at some point. Yeah. So, yeah, let, definitely let us know. And also, like, if you want to call in and basically pimp the game. Yeah. Really, like, just, like, tell us all about the game. Yeah, in a minute or less. In a minute or less. Yes. Uh, so um, please let us know about games, because, god damn, this is oh, depressing. Oh, man. Um, and the next up is Might and Magic Clash of Heroes on the DS. Dude, I'm actually excited about this game. Cool. So this is, so my understanding, it's like, do you ever play Critter Crunch? No. Uh, it's sort of a match three style puzzle game. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's, so my understanding is that everybody's been talking about this game, and a couple of places have given it super high reviews. Okay. Um, it is kind of like Puzzle Quest. You're doing match three. You have all these, you know, elves. You have dwarves. You have all so these that different things. Exactly like Puzzle Quest. But it's a little different because the the way that you do it, the, the movements and all that, it's like you're not just matching, you know, colors. Yeah. You're matching, I guess, different armies. Okay. Things like that. All and right. you're doing a lot of different quests. And apparently, it's like pretty high quality okay. for a DS game. So I am super excited about this game. Good. Uh, and it comes out next Monday, I think. Okay. So Well, that sounds exciting. So, I mean, like, that that will be interesting. I, I really, really, really like Galactrix. Like, I couldn't get Galactrix into uh, uh, the original Puzzle Quest. Like, it just didn't yeah. do it for me. Mm-hmm. But Galactrix just blew me away. Like, there was, was really so good. much kind of world management and going around and powering up your ship and then revisiting areas. Like, it was so nonlinear that you could mm-hmm. actually really kind of get into the world and explore it a lot. So I yeah. thought that was cool. And the RPG elements are really uh, really well done as well. And yeah. uh, actually, Puzzle Quest 2 is going to be out next year. Nice. So hopefully they figured out all the stuff from Galactrix and then... Well, that's the thing. It's the same company. Know. So, I mean, you have to assume that they will take what they learned from Galactrix and, and put it in a Puzzle Quest. I hope so. Um, so that is it for our <clears throat> games that are yeah. coming. It's a um, week, week. It is a week, week. Man. Um, but... We got some donations. Yes, thank you very much to uh, Chris yep. and Jonathan Chris and for Jonathan. helping us out. Thank you guys very much. So we got donations from you guys. Um, we have been putting these donations to work in terms of paying for our rentals, paying for our website, paying for uh, our wine. Yes, thank so you. Basically, you guys keep this show running uh, by everything you do, by watching the show on YouTube and clicking the ads, doing whatever, sending in money, whatever you do. Yep, to subscribing. To subscribe. Every time you watch the show, you help us out, and we appreciate it. Yes, and if you guys are interested in donating, uh, just go to the front page. There's a little box on the right. Yep. Um, if anybody has any PSPs or DSs. <laughs> oh, so Yuzo had a disaster. Oh, dude, had it a disaster this week. sucked. So, so... Oh. You were you were you were up on a on oh. a trip, yeah, and you left your fucking bag no. in your rental car, and I called and I basically I called them. They're like, "What bag?" Yeah, and it had my DS, my PSP, my iPod, yeah. my laptop, yeah. So it's all gone. You yeah. lost everything, and it's the, you, you know the rental car company has all of his shit. They're playing his PSP right now. Avis, you fool. so you guys you guys really really hooked me up when you gave me a PSP when I didn't yes. have one. So we're not saying you guys, you know. No, I mean this is the thing. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm probably like, end up replaying it. But if you guys have one, if that's you broken, have a spare sitting around, cool. if you bought a DS or a PSP that you're not using, send it to poor Yuzo <laughs> because this poor son of a bitch has nothing. And I he have, has nothing now. Cake, Cake Mania, dude. I still haven't played. Cake I, know, Mania. I have to let you borrow my DS so you can play Cake Mania. Actually, that's a good point. Can you? No. <laughs> 
but but what are you gonna yeah. play? Yeah, so well, that sucks. Yeah, like, but that's anyhow, like, yeah. like having your heart ripped out as a gamer. It's just like I all know, your dude. mobile stuff like, is all my gone. Games. And you're going to Hawaii tomorrow. <laughs> You go to Hawaii ah! tomorrow, and you so, can't play any games. Unfortunately, uh, my Kindle was not on there, uh, so I'm going to be reading lots of books. Okay. But what what fun is that? Um, this much fun. This much fun. Okay, reading. so yeah. Reading for dummies. <laughs> oh, and also, uh, speaking of subscribing, yes. uh, we are we have a goal. We have a we have a big goal for huge goal. We have actually a Christmas request for Santa Claus. Yes. We would like twenty thousand subscribers to to NoobTube. By uh, by Christmas this year, by December twenty fifth. December twenty fifth, uh, Christmas so morning. We want to wake up and see twenty thousand subscribers on YouTube. Right? And I don't think it's going to be that hard. We have nineteen thousand two hundred ninety nine. Oh. right now. So we're talking eight hundred people yes. in the next three yes. weeks. Seven hundred people. Seven hundred people. So yeah, you're right. <laughs> if if any of you have seven hundred friends. Yes. Just tell them to sign up and we're done. That's it. Yeah. So w- any of you that have 700 friends on Facebook, I'm sure they're all really close, tight-knit friends. Yes. You know, all of you with so many friends. I love gaming. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. So just please, if you've got gamer friends, tell them to subscribe to NoobTube because, you know, use us good-looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Every week I will curse and get drunk and offend your parents if they're listening. Yes. <laughs> um, so next up, choop. It is shoop time. Shoop it a dupe. So uh, we get, we have quite a few going on. Um, it's you know the participation has been a little low, but some of the ones that have been submitted have been very good. They have very good. Yeah. Um, and I definitely have to congratulate the winner of this week. Uh, it wasn't dot dot dot. Who was? No, that was last week. No, 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 no. Last week was something else. This week was. Really? We just talked about it, but this is the winner. He actually uh, won. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, all right. I, that's what it says. All right, all right, all so right. unless Wookie Monster like you know mess something up, that's, yes. that's the winner. So Mail Toad. All right, Mail Toad. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> God, I could have sworn that he won last week. Now I feel like we may be repeating ourselves with the shoops. Uh, All right, not. but anyway, if if I'm wrong, then this week was <laughs> ellipsis, a dot, dot, dot by Mail Toad. So thank you very much for that. Congratulations. If not, congratulations twice. Yeah. Because we read you twice. So right. uh, thank you guys for shooping. Every week, you know, people take screenshots. Wookie Monster takes screenshots of our faces. You go to the forums, draw cocks on them, and then submit them. And that's pretty much the extent that's of our Photoshop. Essentially it, yes. But there's been some really, really funny stuff. And sometimes you guys just draw flat-out original artwork, yeah. which we will then uh, feature on the show. So, I mean, yes. like, there's, there's we been We even some... make a T-shirt out of it. Damn right we'll or make a T-shirt pad. out of it. We love that stuff. So any, any of you that are artistic, or even if you do MS Paint and make a 4chan-style <sighs> art... Go to the forums and participate because we love this. If shit. the concept is good, you may win. It's true. It's true. All we care about is concept. Many of them win with zero artistic <laughs> abilities at all. Seriously, like it's dot dot dot. All yeah. you gotta do is draw a little bar, and it's hilarious. It's, it's genius. It's, it's, it's genius. It is because <laughs> it's every Square Enix game ever made. Pretty much. And Matt Hazard. And Matt Hazard. Each week, we like to feature the Noob Tube Army on the show. Please send in videos. We haven't had any videos this week. Yeah. Uh, with questions, reviews, or games, funny stories, or whatever. Yep, and you can contact us toll-free at 888-233-8480 or send your files to feedback at noobtube.com. Also, be sure to post them as video responses on YouTube. Yes, and please keep all videos under the minute if you want to be featured on the show. Yep, and if you forget Yao, I will slap your face. That's right. So, first up, unknown. This guy didn't leave his name. I don't know why. Oh. It was something he said. Yo, I love eating lead. It's the shit. If I could, I would fillet eat lead at everyone who worked on that game. If Honestly, Tobin, me and you should get a copy of Eat Lead and blow it a lot. And use those face and be like, bitch, you want to fillet this? He's like, no, it sucks. We'll slap him with it. Fuck that shit. Eat Lead is the shit. It's amazing. Yow. Okay. While I do agree with his <laughs> hypothesis, I'm not sure I agree with his proof. It is, it, <laughs> is, 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 I mean, is it the shit enough to fillet? I, I mean, I, I don't even know what that means, really. I, I, I'm just trying to think. The things of. No, seriously, what's fellatio? <laughs> So how 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 are, how is he and I gonna blow it and then <laughs> blow it in, in your face? face? <laughs> I guess after you're done, then just, just turn just it over or, or <laughs> just spit. I don't. I honestly don't know. But, <laughs> but dude, you know that I read the funniest. Like if you go to the forums, sometimes funny shit happens in yeah. the forums. That I, I read one of this one column. Because speaking of like explaining things, right? Yeah. Some guy, I think, oh, I forget his name. Some guy in the UK or somewhere said, uh, "What's bukake?" <laughs> right. Row, 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 and basically, I'm looking down, looking down, reading people, and like people are starting to explain it, and like, fuck it, <laughs> Ninsaru, who's like 12 years old, <laughs> explains what it is, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding? 
Whatever. He's he should not know what bukake means at this point. I did not at thirteen know what bukake meant. I, I was twenty one before I knew what bukake. I'm still meant. not sure I know what it means. <laughs> it means putting stuff on top of ramen. Oh, oh yeah, right. right. Yeah, exactly. bukake ramen is delicious. Exactly, it's delicious. But but yeah, um, <clears throat> I think the internet is destroying the minds of youth because you guys know too many dirty things. Yes, and probably the ones that your parents will like bukake. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. I don't know. That sounds like something that a chicken would do. Bukake, bukake. bukake. <laughs> so. But apparently people can go to the YouTube forums and learn about every filthy thing under the sun. You're Pretty welcome. Much. You're, you're welcome. From, from children. From children. From children. Um, but thank you for your enthusiasm, even though I don't agree with your sentiment. No. Um, but Eled is the shit. So. <clears throat> oh, Eled, uh, the side scroll is coming out, dude. When is next, that? Next is year. That the next year? Yeah. Early next year? Uh, I don't know when. Sometime next year. Yes, I will be playing that. I still think it'd be funny if, if I hated it. Be, I think it's going to be, be what's hilarious. going to happen is you're going to hate it and I'm going to love it. <laughs> that, would be, that would just be too funny. But I think I'm going to love it because Eli is the shit. Dude, if it's the same writers. Yeah, totally. it's going to be awesome. So uh, we should email that guy that emailed us a long time ago that said he wrote for Eli. Didn't see he say he was working on the other one too? Maybe. Or maybe. Something? We'll, check. Yeah. we'll check because we've got an in. That's we've got right. an in that does us no good, but he tells us stories. Could be lying. Yeah. So next up is Envious uh, with a story that is awesome. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, it's Envious from the forums. I just gotta say, holy shit, last week you guys told us, well you told me, and us, sorry, that uh, Pokemon was outlawed in Saudi Arabia. So I did Google it. In fact, I Googled it, I Googled it at school, where my teacher in uh, one of my social classes, where there's computers, and my teacher looked in and had an oh holy shit moment where he said, what the fuck, in the middle of class, and it was funny. So everyone turned on my computer and read this law out loud, and we ended up having a social project on different cultures, like, about gaming. So basically, because I was doing something I was not supposed to do in school, it turns out we're having, like, this kind of new two project. Just got to say that was freaking awesome. Thanks, guys, for getting me out of social class. Yow. Wow. Straight up, NoobTube is educational. That's right. You learn shit. <clears throat> About other countries' intolerance. That may or may not be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making any promises. Just saying. We should always go Wikipedia. investigate. Yeah, exactly. That's, That's all we do. verify Wikipedia. That's all anybody does now. It's like you work for a newspaper, you just check Wikipedia. But yeah, that I'm is like, so awesome. And and that's a good teacher. That's a sign of a really oh, good yeah. teacher. You know, it's just like somebody's got something comes up in the real world, and you mm-hmm. discuss its implications in yeah. a way that people can relate to. Yeah, and basically, he knows all of their kids play Pokemon. And oh, yeah. all that. Basically, he relates to. It. It's like look what censorship does. Yep. And look how it's enacted sometimes, and look how it applies to something that you do. Yeah. It's like if you do it to like free freedom of speech, blah blah blah, newspapers, blah blah. It's like kids don't care. They really don't. don't. They really don't, especially because people don't read newspapers. Pretty and then much. those kids' kids won't know what a newspaper means. No. They'd be like, what is that? Is that what I start a fire with? <laughs> or that's what my grandparents started fires with. You, you swat dogs with when they're yeah. bad, basically. But, um, I mean, that's the cool thing is, like, it sounds like he made it, uh, the, the teacher made it into yeah. a larger project, which is, like, let's discuss censorship in general, because you and I were talking about this yeah. before. I don't think we, no, we didn't put it in, but, yeah. um, so Australia. Yes. So they've had these problems with Australia. Australia, b- despite being... A rather rough and rowdy nation. I mean, it was founded by criminals. It's founded. Right? I mean, like <laughs> seriously, like you know, it's supposed to be kind of crazy down there in a good way. Mm-hmm. But they won't let you play anything, and they're just like, "Oh, we think that the uh, the the was the the juice in in Fallout." Uh, what you call it? Uh, well, it's like Rad X. It's all the different yeah, uh, yeah. drugs in uh, in Fallout Three. Yes, yeah, so they're basically talking about all these things like games having drugs and then they banned them. That's but like, I mean, it's, it's just the, the thing. The thing that bothers me the most about Australia is that their highest uh, rating is 15 plus. Yes. So like, you can you basically anybody 15 plus they have. They don't have a 17, but they don't have an adult right uh, rating. So what happens is they don't classify the game because mm-hmm. it's too adult. And then if it doesn't have a rating at all, you cannot sell it in stores. Exactly. So it's, it's not really a ban. It's it's this weird it's combination it of impossible for you to sell it. It's yeah. Like this weird. Yeah. But the stupidest thing about it, if you actually go and go into the market research, two thirds of the gaming population are 18 and over. Two-thirds. Yeah. Right? So you're just basically saying it's, that we're only letting people sell games for children in a nation yeah. full of adult gamers. Yeah. And all the people making laws, all they're saying is, is like, oh, well, games, yeah, they're for kids. And this just bugs the fuck Yeah, I, th- I think my, my grandma runs Australia. <laughs> like, it, I mean, what a weird, outdated, antiquated bullshit philosophy. Like, that yeah. is, you know, it, it seems like they, uh, you, you know what they need to do? They just need to take all of their legislators down there and show them a Wii 
and yep. like you know, give them something that show them the dumb seniors old brains can take. You know, <laughs> well, show all the seniors playing Wii bowling. Yeah, no shit. Right? Seriously, yeah. grandmas so, I mean, are playing fucking video games at this point. Exactly. So I mean, all they need to do is do what every other country does, which is make an adult classification for games. Call yep. it eighteen plus. Call it whatever you want. M and then, whatever. And then let people sell these games. Yeah, and then we don't have because the thing is like we're not saying like kids should be playing Manhunt no. or like any of these things. Like just rating. Saying adults <laughs> should be able to play adult games. Yeah. Like I should be able to play fucking Fallout with you know? drugs. Any as much of drugs as I call it cocaine. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I want to call. I want to play drug wars. That's right. I'm play druggy hooker town. <laughs> I'll play whatever. I don't give a shit. I'll, yeah, it's like it seems like we should be able to play all these things, and we can here. So yeah, we can play it's fine. Here. Yeah, as long as it doesn't have sex, except rape play, which apparently <laughs> never came out in the U.S. It's shockingly, a good thing. Yeah, um, I don't still want to play that game. <laughs> it sounds it sounds like it would make me sad. <laughs> Um, Actually, so, most Japanese games are probably end up making yeah, me. Yeah, it's like one of those things where it's like you go into the the game stores in Japan. You're like, this is fun. Like you come out, you're like, <laughs> dude, are you gonna play that water closet game at some point? Because remember the one that uh, Lucien was telling you about? Uh, that you like have it's it's not the the handicap one. It's yeah, the I, other I tried, one. I tried to play that. I couldn't make it through that. I don't remember the water closet one. Yeah, it's some, it's something else. Okay, uh, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> um, so next up is Jen. Jen. This is Jen from Sydney, Australia. Today in YouTube, I've heard that a week ago, there was a wedding ceremony between Sound 9000 and Nene Anagasaki. But what was weird about this was, Sound 9000 is a real person. And Nene Anagasaki is a video game character from a dating sim for the DS called Love Plus, which is published by Konami. This event took place in a live stream video in Nico Nico Doga. It's like a Japanese video sharing site. So some commenters from the site expressed joy for the newlyweds, but some took it that it was like a huge hoax or a stunt. But apparently, Cell9000 said that he'll be totally devoted to her. Whatever that means. Dot, dot, dot. Yow! I don't even know where to start, dude. Well, one thing I'd like to start in is that if you were to hear that... Ayuke, whatever her name was, yeah. and Sal 9000 listed. Which one of the two would you believe is a fake character? <laughs> <laughs> Sal 9000? Is it his handle? I don't, I don't know. know. Um, but, dude, I mean, Japanese are like, there's some weird stuff going over there. Yeah. Um, and it's hard to explain the reasonings behind it because yeah. it, is, it, is, it is predominantly cultural, right? I mean, right. basically, they don't have all these issues. Like, there's the whole real doll thing where people, you know, basically guys have this doll. They dress them up, yeah. have sex with it and stuff, and it's their Yeah, I mean, they, they, a lot of people in Japanese culture have honestly given up on uh, uh, relationships between humans. Like, yeah. they, they a, lot of, a lot of men and women, honestly, yeah. have just kind of gotten to the point where they find it too uh, intimidating, too uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. too Stressful. Too stressful. Yeah. And and it's so much less stressful for them to just pick an object, mm -hmm. you know, where they can just they, – because they've already got a culture of inordinate affection for objects where it's just like yeah. cute objects and, and objects that are uh, uh, – personified is not the word I'm looking for. The, the anthropomorphize, yep. like where they just take objects and they give them personality. They give them, give them eyes and yeah. basically they make them really cute. And then they just kind of go the next step, which is that they actually start feeling real affection yeah. for these objects. It's like virtual. But, and like that's the weird thing too. It's like physical objects I can sort of understand. Not yeah. really. But virtual it's just like it's serious. It just bits on a screen. Yeah. That changes, and that that is just this other level. And like like you were saying, like there's actually an epidemic, not an epidemic, but there's a bunch of people where seriously they will not go outside of their apartment right. anymore. Right? It's just they are shut ins. I just wonder how it's... all these people pay the bills. I really don't understand it. Like That's it, a good does, question. it doesn't seem like there's as many unemployed, starving <laughs> freak heads in Japan as there should be for yeah. the number of people that aren't working and just being like very kind of indulgent of their own weirdness. Well, some of it also is like they live with their parents. Like people yeah. live with their parents for a very long time, and there's no stigma like you like if we lived in our mom's basements yeah like most you know youtubers think we do yeah um like we would get a lot of shit and we wouldn't have wives yeah but in in japan it's just like it's very natural it's like until you get married you don't leave right yeah exactly um, so so having said all those things i just said i am i'm a really hardcore futurist like i'm mm -hmm. i'm really into where humanity is going i'm very yep. kind of like into the extropian like forward thinking stuff <clears throat> i don't think that the whole falling in love with an artificial character thing is weird when they get good enough to have that sort of interaction. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 
like, you're, you're saying this kind of sucks. So yeah. just, I'm saying that, like, like I think that someday I could feel affection for <laughs> uh, for a fake character when I could have real conversations sure, with yeah. it. But this is scripted bullshit. I mean, you look at some of these dating sims. And seriously, here's a picture. Nico, Nico. Yeah. Choose option one, two, or three. Yeah. That is the interaction that it's, you have. It's a transparent script that somebody just wrote on a page with option one, option two, option three for dialogue trees. Yeah. So I think yes, someday down the line, this is definitely possible to fall in love with an AI to have conversations with oh, these yeah. robots that have personalities like even if it's not human enough yeah. it'll be good enough that you could talk to it a little bit and the thing is I don't think it'll be creepy I don't think it'll be the mm. bad is like basically people will either be able to build their social skills if people are just lonely and just don't have a thing I mean they'll, they'll have somebody it's just like pets right yeah. but it's more mechanical and it's probably even better than a pet sometimes right right so but it's not there yet no. So it's just like I I, I don't I don't <laughs> That's see hilarious. this. I don't I don't buy it yet. But it's like your main complaint is the fact that it's just like it's dude, not good enough. Get a <laughs> Not that it's virtual. No, that, I, I, well, I mean, like I said, I'm kind of weird that way. Like, That's I, funny. I, I, I honestly am kind of, you know, I grew up on William Gibson yeah, and all this I, stuff, and I, I, but I mean, I kind of bought it. Like, I, I, I dig that future. I dig the future. I don't think it will be this creepy. I don't think you'll marry it <laughs> to the extent of shunning all other human. I think you'll be go fuck it. <laughs> Why not? There's just like, right, sex bot is definitely within our lifetime for oh, yeah. sure at some point, right? Yeah. So, but, but whatever. <laughs> This let's, is taking a strange let's, turn. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I don't understand marrying. I mean, this was a dating sim in a DS, wasn't there? Wasn't a PS? I think probably PC. PC. Most of them are. They PC do have better days. PC ones, but it, it's better. Still, yeah, it's seriously, still, it's stupid. It's dumb. <laughs> yeah. um, but you know, good luck to you. And the fact that you're staying faithful is hilarious to me. Where it's just like. I don't think You're women sh- are knocking down on his door. Yeah, that- <laughs> to, seriously, well, no, but to maybe, make him stray. You know, honestly, in his brain, I think cheating would be playing other dating sims. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I so bet other you, like, virtual girls are like, hey, they... Oh, come on. He married a dating sim. <laughs> don't act like he's normal. <laughs> he's like, no, that would be crazy. <laughs> well, That's, you know, the best thing about like it... He's, yeah, like you yeah. said, he's not talking to real women. Uh, first divorce coming soon yes who married them <laughs> have like a shinto ceremony and shit all right so anyway uh, so last up we have a uh, uh, skyless duck with a skyless. comment mm. this is skyless duck from the forums and i just finished watching up an amazing film from pixar and i know you guys like wally i was thinking what pixar movies should they make next ratchet and clank i mean think about it the characters fit perfectly into the universe that they portray, like Captain Clark or Dr. Nefarious. I think it would be amazing. Well, what do you guys think about this? Hmm, what do you think, Tobin? I agree completely. I think it's already been done. Incredibles? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, right. the Incredibles kind of it's, was like that. I mean, like the, the dad from Incredibles was kind of Captain Quark. Yep. Um, I mean, um, Wally kind of too, I guess. But I mean, it would be interesting to get like the whole idea. But the thing is, like, if you think, if you take the Ratchet and Clank story, yeah. it's you know follow Ratchet. I mean, can you really make a, a, a Pixar picks like stories, right? Yeah. That actually have beginning, middle, ends. This is true. It's just like, is it the rescue of Clank? Is that a story? Like, what's the script? Well, I mean, like in the in the in the newest one, you know, it was like saving the universe with the clock of time. I mean, like they they have some epic storylines in Ratchet yeah. and Clank, and Pixar is so good at. Writing these things, I mean, like you'd imagine they have some cool arena battles. You'd imagine they have some cool yeah. stuff with the time travel. Like but it's too gamey. All of that stuff is, is so gamey, gamey that it's not like a movie. So that's the thing that kind of weirds me out. It's true, but I mean, like mm. I've always, I've always kind of described to, to people that have never played Ratchet and Clank before. Like when I was showing them the new Ratchet and Clank, mm. I'm like, it's a playable Pixar movie. Like I said that mm. back in the day. Because if you, it is. It, yeah, no, you're right. It you're looks like a playable right. Pixar movie. But I mean, I agree with you. They'll, they'll never do it. Yeah. But um, I think that they would do a great job. And you look at the other bullshit game related mm. movies. Prince of Persia that are coming out <coughs> that look really bad. Yeah, this would actually I would totally like day of launch go go see a, a Ratchet and Clank Pixar movie. Would I rather see? I mean, like I think Pixar doing it, but I just think it's unlikely. I would actually yeah. want to see Insomniac because they do a really such a great job with oh, all like of the release things. A movie. Yeah, take a movie. Like you look at what Final Fantasy um, with uh, fine that wasn't a great example, but yeah. Square Enix, you know, had so many people that built all of their cutscenes. They're like, let's make a movie, Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Yeah. Granted, it wasn't that good. No, but I liked Advent Children, though. I thought I, that, I was pretty, that one. Yet. I thought that was pretty good. But I mean, that's, they can do that. They have all the people there. It's they just got to get more of them. Yes, it's um, true. So, so go do that, Insomniac. <laughs> you got ten bucks at least. Yeah, that's right, ten bucks. <laughs> I'll be there opening day by myself, playing, watching the Ratchet and Clank movie. 
Uh, ah, so that's it. That's, that's it. That is our show. That is our show for the week. Please check out our website at NoobTube.com and be sure to participate in our community by clicking on the community tab at the top of the page. Hell yeah. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a subscription button right over here. Um, also rate this video with five stars by clicking here. Right over here. Yeah. Right oh. down here. Right over there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for this episode. I'm Tobin Kozai. I'm Yuzo Watanabe. How do you enjoy this? by range three slices strong. Piggy. Piggy, piggy. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. We're out. Short bus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.